so here here we're looking at a snake that has just crawled into this and here it's coming out there we go okay so this what we're looking at here is a checkered killback snake it was raining here previous night so i think these guys are out on the hunt and uh, this is also commonly called as the water snake or the asiatic water snake and uh, they are non venomous but sometimes they get pretty nasty they get pretty aggressive this guy looks like he's just had some meal so he's not very interested in uh attacking or being aggressive but just wants to get away so these this is a variety of water snake as i said it's called as a checkered keelback so the reason why it is called as a checkered keelback is uh because it's got these checks on its body like checkered plates of 14 layers of checkers will be there and uh, that's the reason it's called as a checkered keelback and uh, there's one other uh, close relative of this guy it's a uh, olive keelback and uh, those guys are more rare to find but as such these guys are colubrids which means non venomous they have specific tooth that actually eat frogs so they their diet basically consists of frogs small fishes and uh, sometimes small small reptiles like uh, the house lizards or something like that and these guys you can find them near the water body such as ponds lakes where you got a lot of these fish and frog movement and it looks like he just came out here because you know when it rains frogs are out and for getting those frogs the snakes are out okay so here is trying to wash this guy so just got a hose and able to wash him up so we can see a better image of him you can see the beautiful checks that are there now we got this beautiful one and uh, another important thing is that these guys cannot regulate their body temperature by themselves just like how we humans are able to regulate the temperature they cannot actually regulate their temperature by themselves rather they depend on external sources so that is the reason you find them in creeks you find them under stones uh, in places which can keep them warm actually they do not actually burrow under the ground as most of us think there are only a few varieties of snakes that do that but rest of them just try to find shelter under small cracks and under stones and stuff so this is how it will look under the underside is this is how it is so that's pretty much about these guys you don't have to fear them but at the same time just keep a safe distance away from them you don't want to go and unnecessarily disturb them so maybe you could have a closer look at these guys and then we'll just release these guys so as you can see the head is very clear and these guys also have the strength where they can actually uh hood up like a cobra not exactly as that but they can actually lift their body one third so that is one beautiful thing about these guys pretty strong right from the tail they also have this uh, ability where they can detach their tails and regrow them whenever they feel there is a threat this guy is eaten something so he's not in a mood to fight back as you can see it's all bulged here on a general note when snakes are there you don't uh, you just let them be there by themselves generally when snakes are there they are not uh, they don't disturb people so they are on their own path doing their own stuff so you don't actually have to disturb them so they just carry on with their life so this guy just crawled up into the living place so we're just going to leave him back into some waters so guys that's it for this video if you like the video like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content about this and uh, my journey into wildlife thank you nityananda